Hey you guys, today we're um, going to be replacing a radiator uh, support, this plastic piece, it is broken, as you can see my headlight is kind of loose, <laughs> I am getting new headlights as well, I get, this car actually came with damage when I got it. It was damaged right here. So right now it has no steel bumper inside. And these wires, I mean, this uh, headlight is being held on by wires. And I will be reviewing some new headlights that I got as well. There's not many reviews on this headlight for some reason, but that person, it look these headlights look really good. Um, I'll be reviewing them. This is what the back side looks like. And I'll be installing these headlights. Right now, we're gonna take off the center bumper guard for this Pursuit Charger. This is like any other 2006 to 2011 Charger. And we will get down to it. The first thing I'm gonna remove is these bolts down here, and then down here and here. And that should uh, remove the the center grill guard. Alrighty, I'll get to it. Hey guys, I got the whole thing removed. The center uh, grill guard is off the vehicle. Uh, you will have to remove all these. Uh, pop pins out that's all these they're all around this edge and they will there will be a screw I don't know if you can see it and there see they're not even hooked up you'll have to re remove those two or I think it's just the one you can either do it from right here. See, right here, we'll remove that. And then there's, I don't know if you can see. See, there's a bolt right about there. And there's ones down here as well. You can get those from it here. Same with this other side. You can see it right there through the crack. And there's another two, I think, in here. Yeah, there's two in there. And there will be some uh, screws down the bottom out here. Some of the screws uh, my charger doesn't have because it's a little beat up. If you have a water shield underneath your car, you'll have to remove some of the screws to remove the bumper off. And, oh, and the other thing is removing these. Um, you have to remove those from the inside. There is a tab right that goes right in here you want to press on it to release the the corner light on the new lights it will be a different process because as you can see these do not have corner lights but my theory is 
on these lights. All right, see these bolts? I'm assuming those have to be removed. And you will have to install these uh, nuts through the inside of the inside of the engine bay and install the light from the outside because there was another guy that did this video and he ended up cutting all this corner all this corner right here and um I don't think that is necessary to install those lights. According to him, there will be gaps in the light with those, but we will see where we stand with the lights once we install them. Alrighty. All right, you guys, this is what I got now. Anyway, uh, I've taken the bumper off. It's over there. So the, six, the other thing we need to do is remove everything from the part. So you have to remove 12, uh, one half. All these bolts are one half, the ones you have to remove to get this off. So there's one, there's another two over there. Okay, and I believe there's one down there. And two over here. Looks like it's it. They have to come out as you can see there's this is where the bumper goes this is what holds part of the bumper so it doesn't slouch all the way down so this is where they got everything got hit on the charger as you can see the creativity they use to hold this headlight in place. <laughs> that was holding the headlight. <laughs> so, got another bolts right here, those two. And, on this side, there is, I believe, some bolts right about in here. I don't know if you can see them. And there's some over here on this side as well. Oh, and so is for the radiator, right about there. I think that's a 10 millimeter and another 10 millimeter right there. I think that's about it. Then the whole assembly should come out. Yep. And I believe, if I remember right, when I was watching another video, the, you shouldn't need to remove the radiator. The radiator should stay put while you take out the piece. I recommend if you have a stand holding your uh, uh, hood, you might wanna put something on top of the engine to prevent it from 
going all the way down. That way it gives you some room to work. Alrighty guys, I'll get to doing the rest of this um, repair. Guys, I have finally uh, removed the part that we needed to take off. The bumper is off as well. And this is what you got left over. Right now, uh, the radiator uh, uh, support, upper support, is finally out. And this is where it was broken. And this is what they were using to hold the headlight in place. All right, you guys. So the next thing we gotta do is unbend this right there. We're gonna use a torch to unbend that. Hopefully we don't break it. But on my other videos, I used a, I believe a two by four to unbend this side. This side right here. And I'm gonna put a bumper in this thing, a steel bumper or a crash bar in this car. Alrighty. Hey you guys. So there's another thing I forgot to mention, the pop pins. You also have to remove them to get down to these bolts. And the other thing I forgot to mention is the covers. There's some covers that go right in here on that side. There should be two of them. They just pop right out. Nothing difficult and uh, I think that is it for uh, this video but the other thing you need to do is you have to remove the headlights off the plastic uh, radiator support and these are all the bolts that go on this side so it would be sweet so you can see a little bit what's going on but there's gonna be 10 millimeter up here as well on this side and down here there's going to be about two down here, I believe, and two on this side, and one on top. And the other side is the same. As well. And so you don't lose the bolts. I found out that it's a good thing to put them back where you found them. That way you don't have to look for them. As well as um, with uh, everything that went on that broken piece, you wanna mount everything to that. That way you know where to look for the screws when you go and put the new thing back on because they're all different screws. I mean, uh, bolts or screws. So that's what I suggest. And I finally got that piece to, to semi look where I need it. And I suggest using aluminum foil to prevent your hoses from being uh, heated up by the torch. 
but I suggest you can mount a piece of metal. I suggest you clamp it on both sides so you don't get it curved like I did. I used the pliers, but I suggest you get like something that is straight to grab it and pull it this way. Because if not, you're gonna do little twisties in the metal. So these bolts might or might not line up straight. So we'll find out when we install the steel bumper or a crash bar, car, crash bar. But you don't have to move the, remove the radiator. See everything is still on there that needs to be on there. So the only thing you need to remove is that piece and anything that's connected to it. And I do suggest you put like two by fours because if not, you'll bend the shit out of those. And you don't want to do that. This will prevent it from causing any damage to um, any of your metal pieces. Alrighty. I think that's practically it for this. Um, I'll be making some more videos when I'm when I once I get the parts in for the car, and I'll be reviewing the lights when I get all those parts in.